Welcome to the vCloud Automation Center demo, Configuring Approval Prerequisites. In a prior video, we covered how to configure approvals and associate them with service entitlements. However, there are a few things you'll need to do prior to configuring approvals, and a few things you will need to do before you try executing these approvals if you want them to work properly. If you have tried setting up approvals and they didn't work, it is likely you missed one of these important steps. Before you start configuring your approvals, you will need to set up an email server. vCloud Automation Center uses emails as one of the means to notify users of both pending approval requests as well as notifying them when their service requests have completed. Email servers can either be configured by the system administrator or the tenant administrator. The system administrator defines the default email server that will be used by all tenants. Optionally, each tenant administrator can configure an email server that will be specific for all the users within that tenant. Let's look at how to configure an email server. I am currently logged on as the system administrator, but the process to configure an email server is the same for both system and tenant administrators. In the administrators tab, click on the email servers command. This displays any current email servers that you may have already configured. If you need to configure a new email server, click on the green plus sign. This will allow you to configure both an inbound and outbound email server. To help accelerate our demo, we're going to look at an existing email server definition versus creating them from scratch. Let's look at the Nephosoft inbound email server by clicking on the name. Each email server has some descriptive info as well as properties that identify the protocols, ports, and credentials that will be used to send or receive emails. This completes our quick overview about configuring email servers. The next prerequisite step is to define user groups that can be referenced by the approvals. For example, I want to create an approval where anyone in the finance group can approve a request that exceeds a specified cost threshold. In vCloud Automation Center, you have two options. You can specify users and groups defined in Active Directory or your LDAP directory service, or you can create VCAC user groups. For this video, we're going to assume that you know how to manage your directory service, and we'll focus on showing you how to configure vCloud Automation Center user groups. Tenant administrators can create custom user groups from individual users and groups from an identity store like Active Directory or any LDAP directory service. vCloud Automation Center user groups can be used to send approvals as well as assign roles to multiple users concurrently. Let's see how a tenant admin configures a vCloud Automation Center user group. The first step is to navigate to the Administrators tab and select the Group command. This displays the current list of user groups. As you can see, we already have a couple of user groups already defined. In this demo, we're going to create a new user group for the finance team who needs to approve requests when they exceed a specific cost. To start this process, I click on the plus sign next to the group's title. When adding a group, I have two options, either creating a group that corresponds directly to an identity store group, for example, one in Active Directory or LDAP Directory service. The other option is creating a custom group by adding existing vCloud Automation Center groups or individual users. To define our custom group, we enter a name, description, and then select the users that we want to represent the finance group. Since the finance group will only be approvers and not use vCloud Automation Center for other purposes, I'm not going to assign them roles. However, if I was creating a user group of people who were going to use vCloud Automation Center, I would assign them roles. Depending upon the roles I assign, it would show me the privileges possible with each role granted. When finished, click Add to save your new user group. Now that you have completed these prerequisites, you're all set to start configuring approval policies. However, configuring approval policies is covered in another video. Once you have configured your approval policies and associated them with entitlements, there are still a few steps that you will need to complete before approvers will actually receive the approval notifications. The next step is to configure the notification policy. Notification policies determine which events trigger notifications. Notification policies only need to be set once at the tenant level for notifications of a specific type. For example, approvals. Let's look at how to configure notifications. 
In the Administrator's menu, select Notifications, and then Scenarios. This displays the list of notification scenarios. Scroll down and select the Approval Notification Scenario. This enables approval notifications for all users associated with this tenant. Check the Approval Scenario, and then Update to save the changes. Once you have completed configuring notification policies, approvers will receive approval requests in their vCloud Automation Center inbox, but will not automatically receive email notifications. In order to receive email notifications, each user must subscribe to the notifications and their user preferences. Let's look at a quick demo of that process. In order to opt in to email notifications for approvals, as well as other types of notifications, Click on the Preferences link in the upper right corner of the vCloud Automation Center console. To subscribe to email notifications, check Enable. Preferences can also be used to assign delegates when you may be out of the office or desire to have someone like an administrator approve on your behalf. When satisfied with the changes, click Close to save. This concludes our video on approval prerequisites. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video, and we hope that it was informative. To learn more about vCloud Automation Center, there are additional videos available.